St. Saturnini, Bishop of Toulouse, Martyr, 256, Toulouse, Gaul. Here followeth the life of St. Saturnini, and first of his name. Saturnini is said of saturary, that is to be filled, and of new, that is a nut, for the penims were filled for to martyr him, like as the squirrel that eateth the nut. For when the squirrel taketh the nut for to have it out of the hull, it seemeth to him bitter, then he goeth up on high on the tree and letteth it fall, and then the hull breaketh and the nut springeth out. And thus were the panims filled in Saint Saturnini, for he was bitter to them because he would not do sacrifice, and then they brought him up on high of the capital, and cast him down the steps or grease so that he break his head, and the brain sprang out of it. Of Saint Saturnini. Saturnini was ordained bishop of the disciples of the apostles, and was sent into the city of Toulouse, and when he entered into the city, the devil ceased to give answers, and then one of the paynims said but if they slew Saturnini they should have none answer of their gods. And they took Saturnini which would not do sacrifice, and bound him to the feet of a bull, and drew him unto the highest place of the capital, and cast him down the degrees and steps to the ground, so that his head was all to broken and the brain sprang out and so he accomplished his martyrdom. And two women took his body, and buried it in a deep place for fear of the Panims, and afterwards his successors took up the body, and transported it into a more honorable place. There was another Saturnini, whom the provost of Rome held long in prison, and after, he raised him in the torment named Aculi, and did do beat him with sinews, rods, and scorpions, and after, did do burn his sides, and then took him down and smote off his head about the year of our Lord 290 under Maximian. And yet there was another Saturnini in Africa, which was brother of Saint Sotira, Saint Revocata, and Saint Felicity his sister, and Saint Perpetua, which was of noble lineage, which all suffered death together, of whom the passion is hold in another time. And when the provost said to them that they should do sacrifice to the idols, they refused it utterly, and he then put them in prison. And when the father of Saint Perpetua heard that, he came to the prison weeping, and said, Daughter, thou hast dishonored all thy lineage, for till now was never none of thy lineage put into prison. And when he knew that she was Christian, he ran upon her and would have scratched out her eyes with his fingers, and crying loud and issued out. And the blessed Perpetua saw a vision, which in the morning she said to her fellows, I saw, said she, a ladder of gold of a marvelous height erect to heaven and was so straight that no man might go but one alone, and coulters and swords of sharp iron were fixed on the right side and left side, so that he that went up might neither look here nor there, but behoved always to behold right up to heaven. And a dragon of horrible great form lay under the ladder, which made every man to dread and fear to mount up, and she saw saw Tyra ascending by the same unto above and looking to Usward, and said, Doubt ye nothing this dragon, but come up surely that ye may be with me. And when they heard this vision, they all gave thankings to our Lord God, for they knew then that they were called to martyrdom, and on the morn they were all presented to the judge, and after, he said to them, It behoveth you to be presented to the gods, and do sacrifice to them. But when they would do no sacrifice, he made Saint Saturnini to be taken from the women, and to be put among the other men, and he said to Saint Felicity, Hast thou a husband? She said, I have one but I sat not by him, and then he said to her, Have mercy on thyself, woman, and live, specially sith thou hast a child in thy belly. To whom she said, Do to me what thou wilt, for thou mayst never draw me to thy will. The father and mother of Saint Perpetua, and her husband, ran to her and brought her child to her, which yet sucked. And when her father saw her standing before the provost, he fell down and said to her, My most sweet daughter, have mercy on me, and on thy sorrowful mother, and also of this most wretch thy husband, which may not live after thee. And she stood still without moving, and then her father cast his arms about her neck, and he, her mother, and her husband, kissed her, saying, Daughter, have pity of us, and live with us. And then she put the little child from her, and them also, saying, Depart ye, and go ye from me, mine enemies, for I know you not. And then when the provost saw her constancy he made her long to be beaten, and afterwards to be put in prison. And then the other saints were sorrowful for Saint Felicity, which had yet months to come of her childing, and prayed to God for her, 
Anan and she began to travail, and was delivered of a child alive and quick. Then one of her keepers said to her, What wilt thou do when thou comest to for the provost, which art yet so grievously tormented? And Felicity answered, I shall here suffer pain for myself, and God shall suffer there for me. And then were these saints drawn out of prison, and were despoiled and led by the streets, and to them were let go beasts, and so Atira and Perpetua were devoured of lions, and Revocata and Felicity were slain of leopards, and Saint Saturnini had his head smitten off. And this was about the Vir of our Lord 256, under Valerian and Galian, emperors. Thus endeth the life of Saint Saturnini. Amen.